2020 was a year full of isolation, but music videos helped us expand our universes a few minutes at a time. With vivid storytelling and breathtaking imagery, here are the top 10 Canadian music videos of the year. I ain't even flat done, no. 24, Toronto Remix. Toby featuring Havaya Mighty, Jazz Cartier, Shad, and Edgy Smith. To see these artists shine with the city they rep as the video's backdrop sends an inspiring message to those who might want to follow in their footsteps. Lonely, Justin Bieber. Lonely is Bieber at his most vulnerable. In the song, he howls, I'm so lonely, like a cry for help. And in the music video, actor Jacob Tremblay plays a young version of Bieber, perfectly capturing just how isolating those early years of success really were for him. The video is simple, but it's super effective in helping us see Bieber's life through a more empathetic lens. Laugh Now, Cry Later, Drake. Part Nike ad and part Drake parody, Laugh Now, Cry Later continues to prove that the Toronto rapper is a master of memes. Shot entirely at Nike's world headquarters, the music video pokes fun at Drake as he gets dunked on by Kevin Durant, tackled by Marshawn Lynch, and even gets caught shedding a few tears. But don't be fooled, Drake is definitely laughing right along with you. Because baby, we've been up all night. Legends Never Die, Orville Peck featuring Shania Twain. In Legends Never Die, two Canadian country stars join forces for the very first time. Seeing Shania Twain, clad in her signature leopard print, performing alongside Orville Peck, feels like Twain passing off a baton to Peck, crowning him the new crossover king of country music. S.O.K. to S.S. Lido Pimienta. Co-directed by Lido Pimienta and Paz Ramirez, S.O.K. to S.S. is a vibrant celebration of Pimienta's birthplace of Colombia. Shot in San Basilio de Palenque and featuring Colombian dance group Cumbe, the video lets us see the country through Pimienta's eyes, a loving gaze that beams with light and warmth. First to give advice. Done. Claremont the Second. The energy that goes into Claremont the Second's music and videos is palpable. In Done, Claremont's sharp cuts give us a small glimpse into an entire world that he's constructed, and all in under two and a half minutes. Directed and edited by the Toronto rapper himself, a split screen often mirrors his lyrics. Images of Bibles, ice baths, and shots of Toronto streets are timed perfectly to his urgent words. You never believe. Robber, the weather station. Things we see in the weather station's robber video are fairly mundane. A newscaster interviewing strangers, a food career looking for his destination, and a dancer performing for an audience. The discomfort of it comes from the fact that all of this is happening in a forest-filled microcosm. The result is a dreamscape that feels anything but dreamy, a hall of mirrors that shatters our everyday thinking. Woman, 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 woman. Tamale, Daniela Andrade. A mob story with a bit of a twist, Daniela Andrade's tamale is a loving tribute to her family's tamale business. In contrast to the machismo of mob tales, Andrade turns the spotlight on the women in her life here, seen crowded around a table assembling corn husks and maize. In tamale, what is often seen as domestic becomes an art form that's both empowering and frankly, badass. All that I love. Little Frogs, Sarah Harmer. The puppet-loving kid inside of us couldn't resist this late addition from Sarah Harmer. Harmer's video for Little Frogs features, you guessed it, a green frog and his charming small town life. From picking flowers to singing with Harmer in a barn, Little Frogs is a flannel-clad slice of life that feels simply utopic. When I look at you in your eyes. In Your Eyes, The Weeknd. From the very beginning, The Weeknd had an entire vision for his latest album, After Hours. Visually, all of his music videos are puzzle pieces that fit together to tell a story of a night filled with debauchery, suspense, and violence. Whether he was taking his character on the late night stages or giving performances as a decapitated head, The Weeknd kept fans very entertained in 2020. So what were your favorite Canadian music videos of the year? Let us know in the comments.